On this, the Feast of St. Barnabas, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, the Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm is Psalm 15 and Psalm 67. Psalm 15 on page 599, and Psalm 67 on page 675. So page 599 and page 675, Psalms 15 and 67. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may abide upon your holy hill. Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, <coughs> who speaks the truth from his heart. There is no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight, the wicked is rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and judge all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The company of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were possessors of land or houses sold them, and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was surnamed by the apostle Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field which belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> The Te Deum, <clears throat> page 95. You are God, we praise you. you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you all angels, all the powers of heaven, 
cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of, of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of marchers praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. We pray today giving thanks for the example of St. Barnabas, and we pray for encouragement in our daily lives. Grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas, who, seeking not his own renown, but the well-being of your church, gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor and the spread of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We also pray for all of those in need, especially at this time of pandemic. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, <clears throat> the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.